Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Well, I'm finally back again after another week plus a day, if you ask me, of punishment for sharing a word from Jesus Christ. Well, this time I'm sharing another word from Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, but it doesn't have to do with what got me knocked off. I had a feeling it was probably the stuff I talked about before I actually shared the video. I mean the message. Okay. This is by, this word was given to Roxanne. That's how, that's all she puts is her first name. And it was posted by 444 Prophecy News on May 10th. So that was yesterday, right? Just today is Tuesday, May 11th, and it's 1047 a.m. Okay. Um, it's the words, what do you call them words? Uh, tags are warning, destruction, judgment, prophecy, word. Okay. There is an event, I think this is like a, it's not the title, but it's like a introductory, a, into, whatever. There is an event, summertime, as a punishment to the USA. A large crowd, 100,000 plus. Thousands will die instantly. Very destructive. Instantly into eternity. Lost forever. Pray. So if they were lost forever, then that tells you they either never gave their heart to the Lord or they thought they were once saved, always saved, and therefore the... The medication they've been given out won't harm them. Uh, or something like that. But the title is, Tell My People I Am Coming For Them. Hey! And she's got it dated as May 10th, 2021, 10.59 a.m. Oh, I'm sorry. Received on May 7th of 21. Warning from above dot dot com slash warning from above. So that must be her website. All right, let's get started. This is a message which started out personal. Then he asked me to speak to the flock for him. Going forward, pray about everything you plan to do, everywhere you plan to go. Regardless of his answer, obey him. I have older warnings up, which I believe will soon come to pass. It will not be safe to travel go to any stores, and even staying in some of your own neighborhoods. Look around, not what they are telling you on the news. And you'd have to go, you could go to bitshoot.com on my channel, Jeannie Loves Jesus, and you could find out some of this stuff they're talking about. Okay. How, now is the time. Seek God with all you got. He speaks to you in a small, still, quiet voice. If you are in immediate danger, you may hear something different, such as an audible voice and such as audible voices. You can do it. The devil does not want you to hear God or the Holy Spirit. Not sure? Test it. Tell him to show you again. Phone call, family or friend, even a billboard. Yes, the Lord uses billboards. 
People have seen pause. People have seen things on billboards, and then they'll go, "Hey, did you see that?" And they'll go, "See what?" And by the time they look back, it's a normal billboard again. It was a message put up there for a second for that person to see as a confirmation for something they dreamt or heard did a still small voice they heard a sentence or a phrase and they were like is that god did i just hear god if it's your first time you'll you know you'll wonder when i first heard from the god from god from jesus i was pretty sure it was jesus but he didn't at that that first message was you are out of time. I mean, it was it was not audible. But it was so clear. It wasn't the still, small voice I'm hearing now. Where I have to, like... I just, I just heard something, something, a little phrase. You know, it's, like, different now. But anyway, it was... Uh, you are out of time. Pray, repent, and tell others. So it was clearly not just for me, but it was for me also. So I knew it was the Lord. I didn't know Father versus Son. I didn't know what to do with it. He said, tell others, and I'm like, Okay, it was in the middle of the night. I went back to sleep and I pondered on it. And about a week later, I got another message. Now that one I don't know by heart. But I said, okay, I've got to. I was already on YouTube putting up videos. And I decided, okay, I've got to start a channel. I had, I had started an account... You know how you have to do if you want to leave a comment. So I had, uh, at that time, I was second hardesty girl. That's what I started out as. So when you put in youtube.com slash user slash, you have to put two, the number two, hardesty girl. It takes you right to my channel. You have to use, you can never change that. But you can change the name of your channel any, however many times you want. So anyway, long story short, that's how I got started. But anyway, and Jesus, I started asking him to tell me who he was because I wanted to make sure I was hearing from the Lord and I wanted to know it in a way that the devil couldn't say or a demon couldn't say. Anyway, let's get back to this. Now is the time. Seek God with all you got. He speaks to you in a small, still, quiet voice. If you are in immediate danger, you may hear something different, such as audible voices. You can do it. The devil does not want you to hear God or the Holy Spirit. Not sure? Test it. Tell him to show you again. A phone call, family or friend, even a billboard. Be open to him. Always pray over every word you receive, including what he gives me to publish. In other words, they're telling you, even what this person was it Roxanne she is saying even what you hear me saying to you pray over it okay um, so this is her talking wait a minute okay I'm sorry yeah this is all her talking Always pray over every word you read, including what he gives me to publish. Your spirit will agree, or you will get what most of us call a check. It's a check in your spirit. 
your spirit will agree or you will get what most, oh, or I already said that part, you will get a check. It is a feeling something is not right. You have to learn to do this yourselves. Yes, trying to put myself out of business. <laughs> I do not ask for anything other than to seek God now. Freely he gave to me, freely I give on his behalf. And she put that sentence in parentheses. He gave me information on an event coming this summer about a coming judgment. All right, start of the message. There is an event, summertime, as a punishment to the USA. A large crowd, 100,000 plus, or she put 100K plus. Thousands will die instantly, very destructive, instantly into eternity, lost forever. Pray. The end. That was it. I do not have any specifics to share. All I have is this little bit of information. It is a judgment. With that said, please pray for these people, their salvation, and God's mercy. Well, here, pause, pause. If people have already taken the V, you cannot pray for them. It goes against the word of God to pray for their salvation because the Lord says that uh, this is like the ultimate blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. When you, when you turn your back on God saying, I don't trust you to keep me well, I need the government to keep me well. Do you see why it's a, it's already worshiping the beast? Do you see why you're even without maybe realizing it, people who want it? and take it it's saying i don't trust god to keep me well he's not my great physician i have to go to doctors for everything and the government will keep me well with their medicine okay i'm not saying don't go to doctors the lord gave us common sense and sometimes you need to go, or you may not get to go in the rapture. You may end up going before us, but do you want to go that way? Then you'll have to wait for the resurrection at the sixth seal to get your body, to have your glorified body. Okay, let me move on. All right, it says, it, this is a judgment. With that said, please pray for these people. Okay. If they have not taken it, they can be prayed for, for salvation and God's mercy. Otherwise, it's a waste of your time. God's not going to hear you. He is angry. Why, why not? Why would he not be angry? Look how many are turning their backs on his son who died for them saying you're i don't trust you i don't trust you to keep me well if you knew the half of it you would say bring it even at your own lack or discomfort we never pray against his judgments they come with a purpose if he provides more understanding, I will share it. All right, then. Okay, this is this was typed up so confusingly because now it says, Start. Tell my people I am coming for them. In their hearts, they do not believe me. 
They serve me, but do not believe me. Tell my people I love them so very much. That's how she typed it out, I guess, and submitted it. So they typed it out how she did. I love them. He refers to the Song of Solomon and his love for us. Tell the weary I am coming for them. Hang on a little longer. Will you hang on a little longer? Yes, Lord, I will. That's me speaking. This too shall pass. We will all be together very soon. Sooner than you think. Do you think I will drag my bride through the mud after she has readied herself for me? No, not so. You are my hidden ones, hidden under the shelter of my wings. You will soon see just how hidden you all are. You will all be transformed in a moment. You will walk the earth in all power and authority. And in parentheses, it says, you do now most doubt this. Close parentheses. Oh, you will walk the earth in all power and authority. And then it says, you do now most doubt this. We have the power and authority on this earth now to cast out demons, heal people. I don't know about raising them from the dead, although it has been done. Anyway, I'll move on. You will have no doubts of who you are. You will have no doubts that I have truly chosen you. All doubts will be gone. Keep praying, my children. You are making great changes in the kingdom to come. The enemy is losing. His intimidation tactics are failing. He knows this. So do you. It may not feel this way as many as have already lost loved ones. You know what he means. That's me talking. Celebrate their... Oh, no, he's talking about dying. Loved ones who died. Sorry, I remember that now. Celebrate their entry into my courts of praise. Yeah. Anyway, there is a great celebration as my children have made it home back to me. My mercy endures forever. Many doubt the salvation of those who have passed. You do not know the hearts of those who have passed. It is not for you to decide who goes to heaven or hell. That is my decision, O ye of little faith. Have I not taught you anything? Read my word, you will see. Their joy in my word. Study the thief on the cross. He is the example of living a life of hell and evil. He is here with me. Do not judge, lest you be judged. This is why I ask you to pray without ceasing. Hearts are being changed. Evil is being traded for good. Endure until the end. Your rewards are with me. I am coming for you soon. Do not doubt. Do not despair the gift of time I give each of you. Spend it well. Spend it wisely. No time to waste. Love. 
Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus, given with the message was Matthew 25, 14 through 30. And you can read this for yourself. It's the parable of the man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted them with his possessions. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, each according to his own ability. Remember that one? Okay, so that was given with the message. Also Luke 23, 32 through 43. And this was about the thief on the cross, the two criminals who were also led away to be executed with Jesus and what they said and what happened. And we know that one of them said, um, the one said, save yourself and us. This is verse 39, but verse 40. But the other one rebuked him, saying, Do you not even fear God, since you are under the same judgment? We are punished justly, for we are receiving what our actions deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. And then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom? And Jesus said to him, Truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Also given was Acts 16, 14 through 18, 2 Chronicles 8, 9 through 14, Romans 8, 1 through 4, Galatians 3, 16 through 19, and that's the end. Okay, so you can click on the link in the description box, and that will take you to all the scriptures that you can look up. Okay, so I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, and over each and every one of us, and our devices, and all of our internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. Um, I will talk to you later.